A memorial for the late President Li Donghui opened at Taipei Guest House three days ago, following his passing on Thursday last week. On Monday morning, major figures from across Taiwan's political spectrum paid their respects. Former President Sun Suibian expressed gratitude for Li's life of service. The director of the American Institute in Taiwan, Brent Christiansen, paid tribute to Li's bold reforms that made the country, he says, a beacon of democracy. Former President Chen gazes forward and bows. He arrived in Taipei to pay his respects to Li, leaving a note that read, "The spirit of Taiwan's father of democracy lives forever." We feel immense, heartfelt gratitude for the service and work that President Li gave the nation of Taiwan throughout his life. In what limited time I have left, I will work together with all of you under the guidance of the eternal spirit of President Li as we continue to walk the great way of democracy. Chen could hardly sleep. He was so racked with grief. He said, stating that although he and Li belonged to different political parties, their work was the same. Taipei Guest House welcomed visits from numerous political heavyweights, including Foreign Minister Joseph Wu and the director of the American Institute in Taiwan. I and my colleagues at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs remember deep in our hearts what President Li gave to Taiwan's democracy and freedom. He founded our Taiwanese democratic system and thoroughly revolutionized our diplomatic position. Today, Taiwan has more and more friends throughout the international community and more and more support. That's because we share the values of freedom, democracy, and human rights, as well as a shared way of life and a shared language. President Li. A great hero of Taiwan's、uh, democratic transformation. The bold reforms that he put into place played a crucial role in making Taiwan the beacon of democracy that it is today. And we honor his legacy, legacy by continuing to strengthen the U.S.-Taiwan relationship based on our shared democratic values. Former Legislative Speaker Wang Jingping, former Vice President Vincent Xu, and KMT Chairman Johnny Chang, as well as Taipei Mayor Ko Wenzhou, were also there to pay their respects. He persevered in furthering Taiwan's safe, secure, prosperous development and gave the greatest service. We honor him, and we will remember him forever. He was, I don't know how to put it, he was a brave and wise man, anyway. A storm approached Taiwan on Monday, but the rain did nothing to put off Li's mourners, who formed a continuous stream at the memorial.